this key here. Okay, yep, I just felt that. Up. All right, welcome back to the channel. Another day, another unit. And no, we are not in the middle of a junkyard, even though it looks like we are. There's junk everywhere. Oh my goodness, look at this place. Look at all the vehicles that are stored here. But whatever reason, this area over here, somebody's got all this junk. But no, we are at a storage unit. This unit right here, we're about to load it up. We're way out in Lawrenceville, Georgia, pretty far away. Brought the big 26 foot U Haul. I got Ann with me. She's over there choking on something. She'll be all right though. And this unit is a 10 by 20 unit. Paid $500 even for it. Actually, I, I wouldn't, hadn't even seen this unit. I lost out on another unit, so I kind of started scrolling through it. The last minute, there was like two minutes left on this thing. I put a bid in it on it. Uh, you know, it was at $490. It went up to $500, and I won it. So let's see what we got here. Let me step back, show you the unit. We got a train coming by too. All right, if we look over here, we got organizers, a piece of countertop. We got a rack sitting right here in the front with some clothes on it. Then right here, here's a patio chair. Hopefully we got a cushion for this thing. It looks like a pretty nice chair, patio heater. The top part of it is not there, but maybe it's in the unit. If we look back this way, we got some containers stacked up, refrigerator, propane tank. Well, there's a little Stanley toolbox we'll have to check out. We've got an armoire, and now it actually looks like behind it. I didn't see this when I was bidding. There's another armoire, maybe. And I can see other furniture and boxes back there. And if we kind of come over this way, nice husky fiberglass stepladder. We got a nice um, rolling cart here. We got some cones. Looks like some patio furniture. Another little stepladder. And then look right here, we got a Matco Tools tool card now look at the aquarium setup right there looks like they had like maybe hermit crabs or something in the looks of it and maybe some I don't know if a camping chair or a canopy or something not sure the only bad thing I'm seeing right now though is I can see some file boxes back there so hopefully when we get behind there it's not just a bunch of file boxes and then I'll look remove forms so I don't know if this is um, part of some kind of businesses stuff or what the deal was i can see a piece of a cubicle so a few bad signs i'm seeing right here make me a little bit nervous right now remove forms um a cubicle looking piece right there and then straight back there i can see file boxes armoires aren't that exciting either but a lot of the other stuff here is looking kind of promising i think there's a mini fridge right there and up top if you look up there we got a dog crate so a lot of good sellable items right here if I look down this side, I'm looking back past the armoires. There's more boxes and containers back there. Um, so we're going to have to take a look. Hopefully it's not going to be a lot of, you know, just paperwork back there. All right, SSG, and that is not good. We got paperwork, Department of Driver Services. Hmm. And a tarp and a plunger, so. Wow. Don't step on it. Oh, and we have a rat carcass here. Ann's gonna sweep it up. Did that scare you when you saw it? Oh, well. <laughs> I didn't scream this time. All right, let's take a look in this. Start us off with the Stanley toolbox. Either if, if it's empty, it's still a nice toolbox. A little dusty, but it's in really good shape. Okay, we got some Ryobi chargers here. Two different Ryobi chargers. Some Stanley screwdrivers to match the toolbox. A couple pair of pliers. Oh, nice bit set here. That's a... Is this a Milwaukee or let's see. 
not hyper tough, which is cheap, but that's still good, a whole set. Let's come down here. We got some hardware, some little connectors of some sort here. We got a socket set, Stanley socket set. And there's that piece right there. So it looks like it's probably complete. And then if we come down here, what do we have? A hammer. Some more bits. And more bits. And let's see what's back here. Uh, okay, just some miscellaneous hardware type stuff. All right. What is this? This is a oh, it's a little um, power inverter. That's good right now. So that's good. Nothing super crazy, but all the tools are pretty nice and clean and, and neat looking. Doesn't look like they were used much. Hopefully we're going to find some Ryobi tools to go with those um, chargers there. It's a nice nice piece of countertop here. Nice and clean. It's got a good neutral pattern on it. Alright, kind of seeing back there now. There looks like there's going to be some more kind of furniture type pieces and lots of containers and boxes. So we will see. Here's a nice clean propane tank. Doesn't have a whole lot in it. You can tell by the weight that it's yeah. just got a little bit in it. All right, listen, this is the one that says um, recovered forms. Or okay, this one says forms in it, but it's not paperwork. It's actually tools or something. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got some casters, extension cords, caulk guns, something. What is this? Um, a laptop. Two laptops down in there. And then underneath is this. It's like an old um, Polaroid. Yep. Oh, yeah. Polaroid camera. So that's a good little box. RF modulator. Okay. So. All right. This thing, it looks like they were selling drinks as they get the prices right there on them. Another box here. Let's see what we're gonna find. Now this one is paperwork. Yeah, it looks like it's all paperwork. And this one's really heavy, so I'm guessing. But it's like really heavy. I don't know if it's paperwork or not. Yep, it is packed full of paperwork. Good lord. We'll have to. When we're not on camera, kind of look at it and see what that is. Kind of have a clue what kind of um, business this might be. We just kind of looked in one of these boxes here at the files to kind of figure out maybe what kind of business it was. And apparently they had, there's some kind of device that gets put onto people's vehicles when they're not supposed to drive. It's like an ignition interlock device. And that's what these this business looks like it was doing was putting the devices on people, people's ignitions. I've never even really heard of that before, but I mean, I got files and files on it. Here's a dry erase board. Hello, Gina. I just wanted to say hello. No loitering or smoking in front of complex courtyard in the back. <laughs> just do a, a little quick conservative math on a couple of items right here in the front to show it doesn't take much sometimes to add up. Let's say, okay, we're going to go 150 on the fridge. 100 right there, that's 250. And then if we come over here, I'm throwing these couple other big items, we're at 250 on those. Let's say 50 here, that's $300. Let's say 50 on that ladder, that's 350. Let's say 50 here, that's, that's $400. So we're at $400 on those items. Let's say 50 here, that's 450. And then let's say um, $50 on the armoire right here. So that's your $500 right there. And then everything else that we find in the unit, 
we should be be good single panel restaurant check presenters okay that's okay yeah they're like the little yeah. thing you bring the check out in all right right here we have a patio table little metal patio table and one two three four chairs so a whole set right here um see what's in these bags right here Ooh. What is this? Yeah, we're using it as like a little tool bag, work bag of some sort. Here's a husky little box, got some bits and stuff in it, some connectors. Um, we'll look down in here. Yeah, there's more tools. Right in there. socket set so there's lots of miscellaneous tools in here let's see what this one has well, looks like the same kind of stuff there's a little tester we get a lighter uh, Another one of these organizers with all the fittings and everything in it. Oh, there's a cobalt. Cobalt flashlight here. And other items. I see some wire cutters down in there. Let's see what this is. And here's another little pouch with some tools in it. That's an expensive tool right there. And some other pliers down in there. I guess that was to go out and put those ignition things on. They would use these, I'm assuming. Let's see what's in this heavy container. Is it going to be paperwork? We got sand on the top. Maybe it's full of sand. Okay, we got toys here. Here's Bubba from that, um, I forgot what those books are called, but the kids' books. We got Winnie the Pooh. We got Ernie. Look at this, we got some records in here. Oh man. ZZ Top. Are they in here? Yep, that's in there. Let's make sure. Yep, ZZ Top Eliminator. Look at this one right here. Quiet Riot. Mental Health. And then we got Sing Along with Humpty Dumpty. That doesn't feel like it's in there. Nope. Glenn Campbell. Elvis. We got Dolly. Okay, there's the Humpty Dumpty record there. And then we've got Thriller, Michael Jackson. So that's an interesting, is it more, boom, I gotta look down in here. I think there, there's something else. It's either records or like music books underneath here. Set these off. Okay, this is like, no. We got some kids books. Look, there's a nice Polar Express. And we got the Confederate flag here. It's definitely it's been flying. It's kind of tattered around the edges. Um, more books, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. We got some hardback Harry Potters. Here's some old Lee's Priceless Recipes: Three Thousand Secrets for the Home, Farm, Laboratory, Workshop, and Every Department of Human Endeavor. How old is this book? Let's see. 1897 so this one is over a hundred years old it's trying to come apart at the um at the seam there here's another old one down here look at this thing fidet fide fidet i don't know here's some more old ones here we've got heroes and heroes and hero worship and a sentimental journey And there's some clothing. Wait a minute, I gotta look down in here because look at these. We've got like some vintage shirts, I believe. What is this? We get an autograph on here. 
Bobby Allison. It's a, this is NASCAR right here, Bobby Allison. The Alabama game. And it's autographed. Look at that. That's pretty cool. He's a NASCAR driver. And then look at this right here. This is this is like right out of like the 70s or 80s. Look at that. Bobby Allison. This is awesome. This is a good box, man. There's all kinds of cool stuff. Look at this thing right here. This thing, look, I found these records in there. This autographed flag. I found books from the 1800s in there. And they're still digging. Here's another flag of some sort. Let's see what this is. It's a Gatorade flag, and it's got autographs on it. Let's see. Um, it's Bobby Allison. Just the, look at the Gatorade flag itself, even without the autograph. It's you know it's definitely um, retro. The old Gatorade logo. That's that's different. And there's more little stuff down in there. More t more shirts and stuff. Look at this one. I mean, this one's got some spots on it, but just the way these things are made. You got the single stitching there, and just look at this tag right here. You can just tell. 50% cotton. 50% polyester. That's how they used to make all the t-shirts. Yep. <laughs> but if we look over here, I mean, look, I started to look at this other side over here. Then I got sidetracked by that side. There's like, I think some music books or something, or maybe more records. Oh. I think it's more records. Let's see. Oh yeah, more records. I'm going to pull these out and look at them. This is a good box right here. I thought it was going to be paperwork or something. Paper. And then down in here, yeah, we got an old kids 45. Oh, there's NASCAR collectibles down in here, but there's more books. Here's a Davy Allison RC car. Lots more t-shirts. Look at all the shirts down in there. Looks like a jacket down in there. All vintage and retro. What is this? Let's see. That's another flag. That's a brand new, old new stock though. It's a Texaco flag. That's going to be cool right there. Yeah. Valprin fan flag signature series. And who knows what else is down in there that we just haven't got to. But we're going to look at these records real quick. And then we're going to move along to another box. But look at this one right here. I mean, that's the Be that's the Beatles. I, I don't know if I've gotten that one before. That Beatles album. Yeah. Then we got Def Leppard. <coughs> Reach the Beach. The Fix. We got Diana. Yeah. Billy Joel. Glass Houses. Here's one out of the, this is a, it's a Disneyland record, the story, oh, the sound of music, but it's out of the, the case, maybe it's in here somewhere, here's a, what is this, oh, this is like an old card of some sort, here. like an Easter card maybe, oh. look at this thing, hold this card close for a minute, he just loves to be near soft warm things, happy Easter, okay. All right, we got Disco Dancing. We got Arthur, the album. I don't know if that's from a movie or, or what. Donna Summers. And this is, what is this one? Here? I'm not sure. Um, Boys, that's the Oak Ridge Boys. Yeah, that looks about right. John Bonds, Dwayne Allen, Richard Sturman. Oh, look, we got Survivor, Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> Captain and Tennelle. Crystal Gale. There go. There's a Winnie the Pooh one. That's cool looking. Juice Newton. So some really some really nice albums right there. And I definitely want to look look more into this box here when we get back. What kind of stuff might be in it. If there's any more cool vintage stuff. And maybe there is. Let's see. We have a Dumbo. I don't know what some kind of frog. We got a life vest. Mm hmm sock giraffe um and we're gonna have like life vest and stuff down here looks like boat stuff kind of life vest there's some some rope of some sort here what is this um okay this is like aquarium stuff here's an rc boat down in there now what is this right here some kind of a box oh, let's look at this now, i think there's another one upside down right there a box of some sort. All right, what do you think is going to be in here? Like pictures or 
Think it's gonna be full of jewelry? I want it to be jewelry. <laughs> Deluxe crying. candle gift set. That was full of dust. <laughs> Alright, so a nice box there. But there's nothing in it, but it's a very nice box. If we keep looking down in here, what is this here? Oh, shower rings or something? And there's some candlesticks down in here. Let's see. Plated. Plated candlesticks. Oh, uh, there's a Georgia car flag. And I think there's Georgia, like, stadium seats. Georgia Bulldog stadium seats down in there. So that's a good box, too. Some good stuff in it. Not as quite as good as the other one. Not as much stuff packed in as the other one had. Someone's trying to call me. All right, I'm gonna look at this one more box right here at the moment and then we'll kind of load some more stuff up because this looks like it might be similar stuff also. The lid's all smashed in. Okay, not really similar stuff, but maybe some good stuff. Anyways, this is a nice Stanley tool bag, a Ryobi tool bag, and then we got tool cases inside there. There's something in here, let's see. A couple sockets, okay. Underneath there, we've got a Husky tool bag. It's got some weight to it. Let's see. Yep, it's got tools in it. We got some hooks here. What is this? Okay, look at this gauge right here. Air gas PSI gauge. There's another one there. Some other gauges and miscellaneous stuff. Set it down right there for a second and then we'll get right. yeah. I'm gonna look in this other container that was right under it to see if what kind of stuff might be in it. If there's any more cool vintage stuff. And maybe there is. Let's see. We have a Dumbo. I don't know what some kind of frog. We got a life vest. Mm-hmm. Sock giraffe. Mm -hmm. Sock giraffe. Um, are we gonna have like life vests and stuff down here? Looks like boat stuff, kind of. Life vest. There's some some rope of some sort here. What is this? Um, okay, this is like aquarium stuff. Here's an RC boat down in there. Now, what is this right here? Some kind of a box. Oh, let's look at this. And I think there's another one upside down right there. A box of some sort. All right, what do you think is going to be in here? Like pictures or? Think it's going to be full of jewelry? I want it to be jewelry. <laughs> that was Deluxe crying. candle gift set. That was full of dust. All right, so a nice box there. But there's nothing in it, but it's a very nice box. And if we keep looking down in here, what is this here? Oh, shower rings or something? And there's some candlesticks down in here let's see plated plated candlesticks oh uh, there's a georgia car flag and i think there's georgia like stadium seats georgia bulldog stadium seats down in there so that's a good box too some good stuff in it not as quite as good as the other one not as much stuff packed in as the other one had someone's trying to call me All right, I'm going to look at this one more box right here at the moment, and then we'll kind of load some more stuff up, because this looks like it might be similar stuff also. The lid's all smashed in. Okay, not really similar stuff, but maybe some good stuff. Anyways, this is a nice Stanley tool bag, a Ryobi tool bag, and then we got tool cases inside there. There's something in here. Let's see. A couple sockets. Okay underneath there we've got a husky tool bag it's got some weight to it let's see yes it's got tools in it we got some hooks here what is this okay look at this gauge right here air gas psi gauge there's another one there some other gauges and miscellaneous stuff 
Oh, good lord. This little container is really heavy. Is it got a bunch of metal in it? Looks like. We got a sander. Handyworks. Grilling tools. We got an official Kingsford grilling fork there. But down in here, we got hardware. Tape measure. There's some drill bits. Something in here's got some weight to it to me, but really, I think it's right. This is, I think it might be an anchor <laughs> right here. That's what was so heavy. Yep, it's an anchor, like a boat anchor right here down in the bottom of that. And then you got stuff like this that's just full of um, drill bits, I believe. Oh, look at that. Drill bit set. But that, boat, that boat anchor down there is the heavy, heaviest thing. It's really adding weight. Oh, look, all kinds of stuff in there. Magnetic drive set, paintbrush, another paintbrush. The anchor is the heavy thing in there for sure. Okay, and it's another box. Looks like with a bunch of tools in it. All right, just finished eating lunch here at the junkyard slash storage facility and we still got quite a bit to load up here we're going to try to get a, um, a lot of this bigger stuff right here loaded up now and then where we can get back and look through these last few boxes back here and look in that toolbox and never know maybe there's something in one of these cabinets probably not but but look how big this thing is that armor is giant it's two pieces so hopefully me and Ann can get that thing out of here and then this big heavy desk so we got couple really big heavy items to get we're gonna load this stuff up and see what else we find back there I'm gonna have to load all these boxes up right here the rest of these containers take back to the store and go through them there because the lady just came by and they're closing in 40 minutes and I gotta get my hundred dollar deposit back because this is over an hour away but she just told me they're gonna be closing early today so at this point we just got to get this stuff on the trailer as fast as we can so I can before they close and when we get back to the store I'll show you what's in the rest of these containers But we got 40 minutes, we should be able to do it to get the rest of this stuff, what's in there on this truck and get up there before they leave. All right, we got the rest of that stuff loaded in about 20 minutes. So we got about 20 minutes to spare to get up to the office to get my deposit back. Like I said, we didn't go through anything, we just threw it all on here and we wanted to get it all empty so I could get my deposit back so I did not have to drive all the way back out here because it's about an hour, hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half drive one way so with gas as much as it is now if i had to drive back here just the time alone makes it hard enough okay this box we did not no don't tip over <laughs> holy crap okay we didn't go through this but i think it was paperwork i think i flipped but yep this is all paperwork All right, so that's paperwork. This is falling over. There's some paperwork falling out. Something. All right, this one I'm not sure. Okay, it's like magazines, but is there something underneath it? Let's see. Magazines. Magazines. And underneath it here. Okay, we have some, all right, we have a Gwinnett Braves. Oh, a Chris Medley bobblehead. I'm just, 
Put a little figure here. Let's see what else is in here. And it looks like Christmas village houses and the village people. The heavy duty orange rubber cones, there's a bunch of them there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four. There's like 15 cones there. And then here's a better look at the um, candy machine. This is a really nice candy machine. Just hopefully we can find a key. I mean, if not, it can be replaced. That's just like a, that'll come off right there. But very good shape on this. Um, and I think this box that's right up here is one that hasn't been looked in yet. It's stuck right here. And the toolbox is going to be on the other side of this, so we'll have to get this stuff out and then we'll take a look inside there. The other toolbox that was in the back that we didn't look in yet. This is it going to be a flower? There's a oh, what is this? It's not <laughs> okay. This is a gun case, but it's definitely not a you know, a rifle would go in here. But there's not a rifle, but there is something in here. Okay, there is a Looks like a pellet gun. Okay, it's an air gun, but it's been taken apart for whatever reason. So a disassembled Crossman air gun. Hold on, Keith, I'm in the middle of looking at that. All right, he's about to take it away, so we gotta hurry. He's gonna snatch it from us. We got these beautiful flowers. Not really, I don't know, maybe somebody will, but this is a really cool vase. Look at this thing. It doesn't really match these flowers at all. at all. And look, we got a coat hanger piece, and I don't know what that is. All right, now this toolbox right here was all the way in the back, so we didn't show this earlier. Unfortunately, when it was riding, this this drawer, came, the thing started to roll apparently, and this drawer was out. It hit right here and it kind of bent the track, so this track does need a little bit of a repair now. And here's the key for the top, but if you look right here, we got some razor blades. Let's see what we got going on up here. Oh, keys are falling off. Right here we've got, here's another of these cobalt flashlights. Um, all these little fittings and everything right here. Let's look and see, we got a tester right there. Keith's trying to get by with a big piece of furniture. You're gonna. Uh, you're gonna go down in that direction. No, I want to spin. Um, there you. Go. Spin on her own. Should have waited until I just got done with this toolbox. Then I could have helped you with this stuff. All right, come straight ahead now. Go down a little bit. There you go. Okay, turn. Well, we didn't do it like this. But he had some good. All right, let it down now. We got it from the back easier because yeah. it's not as well, the weight's not out there so as much okay let's we're going to continue looking through the toolbox now let's see what we're going to find in here we've got some pry bars conduit tight wire cutters there's a little multi-tool here stanley multi-tool let's go down to this next drawer lots of different pliers cutters right here that's an expensive tool another wire cutter come down to these drawers okay i think we need another key this key here okay yep i just felt that unlock okay and here look at this we got 
Hutsky little bit set. Here's some DeWalt bits if they're in there. Um, there's a couple. We got a couple some DeWalt bits right here. Little impact sockets. Um, lots of sockets. There's a Ryobi bit set right there. And more like little electrical fuses and different components, hardware. Allen wrenches, so that's a good right there. Here was oh, more Allen wrenches and it was open. Do what now? I said all those wrenches are Allen's right now. Yes, Ann says they're all Allen wrenches and she's right because they're mine and, and my last name's there Allen. And then here we got a socket set, which is mostly here. It might all be here. It might just be because there's some kind of laying around back there. Going down a couple more drawers. Oh, and here's the Ryobi drill. So we did have the charger for that in the other toolbox. So there's the drill with the battery and more bits. More sockets down in here. And there you go, a whole bunch of bits there. And one more drawer, let's see what we're gonna have. Baby wipes, perfect. <laughs> let's see. And it's actually, I don't know what exactly these are for, but some kind of little brackets. Um, oh, look at this, Matco. That's probably worth at least a dollar, huh, Keith? I'll buy it for two. Keith offered me two dollars. We're gonna have an auction right now. What do you give me, Ann? Three dollars. You go four. I'll go ten. Keith's at ten. You gonna go higher than that? Twenty. What? Are you actually gonna buy this, or are you just pretending? Oh, never. Mind. Ann's just pretending. She says so we gotta. Uh, okay, we gotta. So I want. I want for two then. We gotta stop. Three. No. no I, was, I went for one then. I would have went for two. The whole uh, whole I'm auction ahead. is invalid. Okay, let's see. Let's keep that. going here. More hardware. And this is oh, this is like some big feet. What that goes on the bottom of the cut, that's the big screw in feet for the bottom of like appliances or stuff like that. Nice hammer. And some other miscellaneous tools in here. A square. And more hardware. Yeah, overall not bad. Unfortunately, I wish I wouldn't have messed this drawer up. I mean, it's still, it's fine and usable as long as you don't pull it all the way out. But somebody really probably want to fix this track right here that got bent. And as Keith said, it comes with a cup. <laughs> yeah, and, oh yeah, it's special feature. It has this cup right here that you can put zip ties in. And the cup is zip tied on, so. Oh, and then there's a clamp, C-clamp hanging on the side here. And let's check it, there's stuff stuck all over to it. What is this? Part of a cobalt like flashlight or something, I think. And here's another one over here that's magnetic, but the end of it's missing. All right, I think that's it. Oh, we got a Craftsman. What is this? A magnetic little pouch. We had some vintage stuff that was kind of a surprise in here. We had lots of tools and um, tools and vintage was mainly what was in the boxes besides paperwork. There was several boxes of just paperwork, but that's it for this one. Um, good overall unit, even though, you know, I paid $500, had to drive a long ways, but you know, you're not going to get these things for free. You're not going to get them th these things for, you know, very many of them are you going to get for, you know, under two, three hundred dollars. And if you want anything decent size that that looks decent in the pictures, I mean, you're going to have to pay for them right now. But overall, good unit. That's it for this one. If you like this video, give us the thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, we're always putting out storage auction videos and all kinds of videos related to the resale business. Have a good one.